Hey guys. What's up guys? Today is all about laundry. The stuff that we all do, stuff that we all talk about. Stuff that we all dread, <laughs> some, some of us sometimes. Yeah, but I thought today that we would talk about, we're doing a little project, we're adding some hang drying stuff in the back room. So I thought I would talk about that, um, kind of what we're doing, why we do this thing, talk about line drying along with some clothes pins that I'm excited to tell you about, and also maybe just my other favorite laundry stuff because I've learned that not all laundry things are created equal. Am I right? Leave a comment down below <laughs> if you agree that not all laundry detergent, soap, stain removers are created equal equal. Also, as we go along and I share my favorites, please share yours because I would love to know. I'm always looking for suggestions. Austin's going to hang these up and then we will jump into the rest of the goodness. So happy that you're here. Me and my friend here just wanted to remind you that this is the last week that you can pick anything up from the traditional summer line on industrialtradition.com. I will leave everything linked below. We have some flamingo inspired designs. And then going along with today's video, we have a design called Line Dry, which is all about drying your clothes on the line. These designs are inspired by our lifestyle and inspired by you. So I hope you'll go check them out at the link below. You can use code CREW all caps at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Now, back to the I thought I would mention why these racks. There's one thing that Camper Living taught me. It's that these are actual junk. <laughs> I'm sorry if you use them. Maybe you've had better luck than me, but the rods fall out. They take up floor space that you don't have, and they're just super frustrating. And so in the Camper, I basically ditched these hung clothes on hangers and then hung them in the shower to dry using the dehumidifier to speed up the process. We're still using that dehumidifier trick here in the house, which we absolutely love and suggest. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10 recommend. And the other thing the camper teaches you is to go up with your stuff. And while this is a bigger house, it's not a huge house. And so we're still limited on floor space. And so the idea is to use these walls, not for art, not to leave them blank, but to make them useful. And so that's why we decided to go up and to hang these racks. We hung these two over here that you saw Austin hang. And then we also hung -da -da -da, this <laughs> one over here um, that we hung up a couple weeks ago. And this one actually goes back in and those fold down. However, let's get real. These are gonna stay out all the time because it's just us, it's the back room, and I'll use them every single week. So I thought I would mention, I got these on Amazon. You'll see the theme throughout this video. 
of what I'm sharing, what I can, I will link down below or in a blog post for you guys. All right, so I guess the best way to go about this is to talk about it from start to finish. So to me, the start is stain removing. So any type of prep that you have to do before you get your laundry going. Um, these are two things that I've used in the past. This Zout was suggested to me by my aunt who has a son that played baseball and their pants were white. So she swears by this. Shot was what I first started using and it's kind of the thing I go back to, especially with Austin's white welding caps. If you need a video on how to keep white welding caps white or how to get them white again, please comment below and I will make that video. Lord knows. I want to help all the people that want to do that because that's been a struggle for me. Another thing that I first started using whenever I first started doing that was this OxyClean. So I typically keep it around. It's not something that I use every single time. It kind of just depends um, what stains I'm facing. So the other thing that I have that is a little bit of a booster is actually an old school powder. Um, what do they call this? Borax? Is that right? Shoot, I don't even know if I poured it in here. I think that's what it's called. I know what to look for. And then also these Fells, I don't know, whatever this is called, by Purex Laundry Bar and Stain Remover. This is an old school thing. These two together, I think, plus maybe one more ingredient, or maybe these two, you can actually make a homemade detergent. Um, but I just keep some of these bars around for stain removing as well. And then this is actually something that I have been putting in as a booster and I've really been liking that. I prefer Tide. Uh, that's just kind of what I grew up on. I like the smell. I think it does a good job. I've tried a couple other things and haven't been too impressed so I just go back to it. So I have that here and then that is my baby detergent for my nephew stuff. This is actually the last thing I use for detergent. This is by Tyler Candle Company. This is what they call, I think, like a fine or luxury detergent. I love this stuff. It smells so good. They have a lot of different scents that I like. The Limelight, I believe, is the one that I like the most. This one is high maintenance, which I can't do with my migraines. But I love washing anything that I wash in cold or delicates or sheets and towels in this. It smells good. The smell stick, sticks around even after going through the dryer and you can make it go further by using a non-scented delicate soap if you're washing delicates something like wool light or something like that or you can use any other type of mild or non-scented detergent with this to make it go further which is what i typically do and it's expensive if you look at the price of this you'll probably be like you're insane i'm not spending that on detergent but I swear I have had this for ever. Yeah, like a really long time. It don't take much. Just that cap is what they say. And it really does. Like about really two strong. capfuls is what I do in like a, like with like a comforter, for instance. Um, it really doesn't take much. Also, this is a great gift. I've got this for a gift. I've given them as gifts. And it's just like the thing that you don't always buy yourself. I mean, I buy it for myself now but it's a really really fun gift because it's something that people can use up they can enjoy and it's a little bit of a treat so it's a really great gift and i will link it down below if i can find it i also got this as a stain remover this is goop i'm going to try this on washing caps baseball caps i have never successfully washed a baseball cap and had it turn out to where i thought it was good and worth it and so I'm going to try a bunch of different things and test them out with you guys in a later video. And this is one thing that I got for that. So I'll keep you posted. So next for softeners, 98% of the time, I am just using plain white vinegar. In this washing machine, I actually put it in one of these little balls. And in the camper, I just put it in, you know, the slot. But this is great for softener um it's obviously like not going to irritate skin anything like that it also can help with smells sometimes i also put this in the wash cycle 
Um, other things I use with laundry is like Dawn dish so soap and baking soda. All this type of stuff is great for laundry depending on what you need. So these are definitely like old school things, but I really go back to them because I think they're work, they, they work. And also you have them around the house and then they're multi-purpose. So I like that type of thing. And if you're in a camper, you really like that type of thing. So for the longest time, this is all I used. Um, here lately I did pick up some downy. This is what I grew up on. Um, and so I do like it every now and again for the extra scent but this is what you will find me using most of the time. For scent, Austin loves these whenever we put them in, right? Yeah. These are his I favorite. I like those, but that that Tyler stuff is smells good too. Do you like it more than this? I think it's stronger. I think it is too. But those, these still work good too. Yeah. So these are great if, um, like typically we don't wash Austin's clothes in the Tyler stuff. So like we'll throw these in. Um, they can get pretty pricey. I like to buy them at like Sam's or Costco whenever you can, or if you buy the bigger container, you get a better price per ounce. The next thing I was going to mention, and I will link below, are these little add-ins that I've been putting into the washer and dryer that are supposed to help with dog hair. I'm still testing these out, so I will do another video on these. So I can't tell you for sure, for sure, but so far I like them. And I really, I don't know, I'm glad I found them and I think they're worth a shot, but I'm gonna keep testing them for about a month before I let you know for sure. They're sticky and the idea is that they pull the pet hair out of the clothes so then it can be washed out, but you can't use fabric softener with them. And so we've already talked about white vinegar as fabric softener and so that works great with these and they've kept their stickiness along with that to go with the pet hair and the dryer i have been using these wool dryer balls and i really really like these um, for scents you can also put a little bit of essential oils on these if you would like i really think that they're helping with the pet hair and so i really like liking using those now let's go to the clothesline because it's nice outside today and that is my absolute favorite way to dry clothes. This is our clothesline. This came with the house. It's not ideal, but it allows me to dry the clothes outside, which I absolutely love. I've always loved doing that. And so because of that, I have a long time frustration with clothes pins. So I finally just decided, you know what? Why am I living my life being frustrated by these clothes pins? whenever, if it was something else, I would go out and research until I found what was good and what was best. That's what I decided to do. And so I'm testing some things. I'm testing these heritage clothespins that are, well, they're prettier for one. They're just stronger and the wood is more durable. It's not as brittle. And then I'm also testing these. These are called heavy duty clothespins and I really like them. I also got this bag that has this, do you call this a carabiner? Yeah. Hook on it that you can hang on here. You can hang different places. It has a drawstring and it also has a hole in the bottom um, for drainage if any water happened to get in here. But we that try not to leave it outside but no i try not to leave it outside but with oklahoma it's been raining all the time these are the clothes pins i'm testing these are from the same company these double ones this is like the thing that you never knew you needed till you had it so i'm going to continue testing those and i will keep you updated but they've but worked good i mean you've liked them these i've really liked and these are on amazon they're easier to get a hold of and honestly i'm thinking about carrying these in the industrial tradition shop you guys will have to let me know if you're really are you in dire need of good clothes pins? Because if so, I would like to carry these in the shop for you guys. But these you can pick up super easy. I have so much other stuff I feel like I could talk about. Let me know if you have other little videos that you'd like me to do. The welding caps, cleaning, baseball caps. You guys know I use felt hangers. I think you know that. I switched to those in the camper and I'm carrying that on in this house because they're simply just the best if you ask me. Um, I'm so excited to have these hanging racks. Thank you for hanging them up. You bet. I enjoyed it. Wasn't too hard to hang. They're fairly, fairly simple. Yeah, so next, I mean, added to the project list, don't know when we'll get to it, is painting this room. 
and then it will be like usable until we decide to actually do some remodeling around here. So I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, share your suggestions below. I'm always loving to hear. There's things that I didn't even mention today that I use for welding caps. So like, I wanna know your suggestions, but I also just always wanna know what videos you guys want and need because we love chatting with you and we love creating stuff for you and that's why we're here. So uh, let us know what you would like and what you need. Thank you so much for being here and for hanging out with us doing these at home vlogs. I told Absolutely. Austin it feels like I'm going back to my roots of YouTube. Like this is the type of videos that started our channel. So yeah. And if you're <laughs> new here, fun. if you're new here, subscribe. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Be grateful. Work hard. And have fun. We will catch you in our next video. Bye. You look very tan. And I don't. <laughs> My natural skin tone. What I wish I looked like. It's because of the lighting. <laughs> it's because of these brown walls. Ooh, got a tan. Well, I'm right Filter. In front. I'm right in front of the window, and that window is kind of blocked. Yeah.